Hey everybody, this is my first ever video. First of all, I want to start off by saying that I am sorry for my appearance, but I just had surgery a week ago, so I'm lucky to even be up to do this. Okay, so I decided to do this video because I searched everywhere, and though I might have missed it, I haven't been able to come across a video that illustrates how to use the OFA's testing in order to properly test your dog. Um, this is my first try, so I'm really hoping that I do not mislead anyone, but I'm going to do it to my best ability so that if there's anybody else out there that's not feeling too confident about doing this, um, maybe I can help with that a little bit. Um, this is how it comes, and it's just a simple envelope, and I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to illustrate the entire thing. So I will open it on camera. I'm not going to go through and read everything to y'all because I'm pretty sure you probably know how to read yourself. <laughs> um, but I will show you how it comes and that way you'll know for sure if you got everything, which I don't see OFA making that kind of mistake, but you never know. First of all, okay, yep, yeah, that's it. It all comes in one little nice package. It's pretty well put together. Comes like this um, with all the paperwork. It has a little envelope. State, state mm, has a little envelope um, stapled right there. <laughs> Sorry. And then here's the little swap. And so that's it. Pretty simple. And then I will go through this. I will read everything. And then I will bring my dog Mona in here. I will test her on camera. And then that's really it. Then I have to send it back in and wait for the results. And I just hope that this helps. Okay, everybody, this is the swab. And you're just gonna simply pull it out like this. And you can see Mona, she is completely not okay with this. She doesn't typically really like to be messed with. Open up, baby. No, open. Open up, open up. She's not the easiest candidate. Mona. so that I can get a good, good wet one. I know you don't like it. As you can tell, this is my first time. Okay, hopefully that's enough because her mouth was kind of dry. In that little envelope that I showed y'all earlier is the little test strip. You do not want to touch the purple. That's it right there. See? You are going to want to place it on there. And it says that you can use the white part to squeeze it. Hopefully, we got enough of her DNA off of there to really muster up quite a bit. I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully, 
you know, like that. I might want to try to do just a little bit more. She has been put up for an hour so that she has not had anything to eat or drink. Hence the reason why her mouth is as dry as it is. Have a little piece of hair hanging off of it. I'm trying to just fill up the entire circle. And really, that's it. And then you're going to put it somewhere so that um, it can air dry for an hour. And then you're going to place it inside of an envelope and mail back to them. So I hope that this has been helpful. Be sure to keep your swab back in the little envelope just in case the circle doesn't turn white after the hour of drying because if it doesn't turn white then you're going to want to try to redo it again and you don't want it to get contaminated by anything else. So make sure to place it back in the little envelope that it came in just to be on the safe side because you can never be too safe than sorry. Okay? Well, I hope that this helps. And if you have any questions that I haven't covered, please feel free to um, leave a comment or shoot me a message. I will answer anything to the best of my ability. Okay? Thank you. Okay, while the test um, strip was drying, I ran out to my local post office and picked up a envelope on the receipt that they provide you they have a return address label very conveniently so that you can just place it on there you don't have to write it out and run the risk of messing up on it so I am going to do that now since I recorded doing the test it has been about an hour's time, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the test, show y'all what it looks like, and then I'm going to package it up and send it out. Okay, so here it is. I think we got it pretty good on there. As you can see, it bled through the back, which is what they hope for to get a good sample and that's about it i'm gonna put it right back inside that little um brown envelope that it came with and i'm gonna place it in here i already have it paid with the tracking number everything so that i for sure know that it gets there and then they should get it next week Hopefully we'll hear something back as soon as possible. One last thing, everyone, that I completely forgot to mention is I was also sent this to fill out and send back in. And so, of course, you do want to fill that out and send it back in with your sample to ensure that everything is done and documented correctly. Okay, thanks again, and I hope this helps.